I don't really think of the future the same way as I did before. I just sort of have accepted that there might not be as much future as I want there to be. When you're faced with mortality, you've come to terms with the fact that there might not be tomorrow or next week or next year. My name is Allie Vreeland. I was diagnosed in February of 2015. I was 27. Christmas put lotion on, felt like a, a lump. I am BRCA positive. You know, it's probably nothing. Ultrasound, biopsy. My doctor called me in to tell me that it was breast cancer. Invasive breast cancer, estrogen positive, HER2 negative. I decided off the bat that I was going to have reconstruction. For me, it was a no brainer. I think it would have been really difficult to be like, oh my God, like there's nothing there. All the doctor's appointments and the poking and the prodding and the tests and the robes, surgeries, they don't really feel like breasts anymore. They're just like a part of me to, to give that appearance, I guess. I'm still here, I'm still alive, and I'm still me with or without breasts. It was like cancer woke me up, but then it really woke me up the second time. I was re-diagnosed metastatic May 2016. I was 28. At this point, there's really no surprises. You're gonna have this disease for the rest of your life and you know that. When you're initially diagnosed with like stage one, stage two, it's like, okay, I can get through this and maybe I'll never get cancer again. And that's the hope, you know, but at this point, that's it. What's my life gonna look like now? And how am I gonna deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis? Symptoms and stuff like that, I think it really depends on like what treatment I'm going through and I don't know which one's gonna work, you know, it's just a matter of trying. <laughs> and if it works, it's great, and if it doesn't, then you move on to the next thing. For a long time, I was like grieving that person that I was before. Looking at pictures, my long hair, and, and going out, and dating, the gym, and like, how I look, and you can't go back to that. Trying to embrace the person that I am now and priorities that have changed and, and the perspective that I have now, you know, it's definitely different. Metastatic breast cancer is not the number one thing. It's very low funded research. The fact that it's not spoken about as much, it seems to be pushing people more to get it out there because, you know, women are dying every day from this disease. It's so important to enjoy the time that you have <laughs> and not take it for granted. The future is now, <laughs> basically. I think that's how it has to be in order to, to, to move forward every day.